the what we call the Wall Street of Toronto, which is King and Bay. All of the bank towers are here. Anyway, it's the financial center down here. And where we're heading to, we're going to drive up through the area. After we go to 1212 Design, our driver's going to put us back at the corner of Bay and Bloor, and we're going to walk through some Yorkville shops. Because if you've only got a couple of hours to shop, you can walk around in the area we call Yorkville, and you could have a great time. But isn't Yorkville totally high end and movie starish and all that kind of stuff? I always think of Yorkville as beyond, not funky and cool at all, but kind oh, of. Oh, you know, upscale. I think I think I'll surprise okay. you. Okay. Now, what you're referring to is the other side of Yorkville Avenue, Bloor Street, and there you only have. Uh, things like Escada, Chanel, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of these things. But every city has those. Yeah. So we have them as well, and that's where we have them. But it, Yorkville, if you look at its origins in the 60s, of course, I don't wish to say I was around then. But <laughs> Only one yeah. working. Yeah, right. But if you look on the website, if you Google Toronto 1960s, you'll see all these characters walking around Yorkville you wouldn't see walking around today. Maybe this is what you're referring to. Um, Yorkville used to be a hippie hangout. It, it used to be drugs, alcohol, like, sex, yeah. everything. It was what the Haight-Ashbury area was in San Francisco. It was just, it, it was really, well, I hate to use the word hippie, it seems so out of date now, but it was very much current in those days. And a developer came along and thought, hmm, I'm going to buy these buildings up cheaply, put a great posh hotel here, and I'm going to transform this area. And that's how it happened. So the direction you're referring to, the moving upscale, is very definitely the direction that Yorkville has taken.